This is my take. And today I want to talk to those in power about what is happening in the country today. This is quite unprecedented. It has never happened before where young men and women storm the streets to fight for the justice, to fight for their freedom, and to fight for their rights. I don't know what freedom they're talking about. We have freedom as a nation. This is a sovereign state. But there are lots that these young people are trying to tell the government to do. That the government has failed to fulfill the promises they made to the young people of this nation. Before I do that, if you're watching this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Philip Vitale, like it and share it widely. Now, Malcolm X once said, you can't separate peace from freedom because no one can be at peace unless he has freedom. And he went ahead to say, the future belongs to those who prepare for it today and that the truth is on the side of the oppressed. The younger generation feels oppressed. The Gen Zs of this world feel oppressed. They feel like they have been deprived of their freedom. They feel like they have been denied employment opportunities. They feel like there's just a clique of individuals who are wallowing in the opulence of wealth and that they display it without even feeling ashamed. And they feel like they are people who are eating with big spoons when they are struggling with their own hands to grab something to put in their mouths. The younger generation is not at peace. The younger generation is uneasy and they want their plight to be addressed. Now those in power, Mr. President, Mr. Deputy President, and those you work with in the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. You have to listen to what these young people are saying. This is not something that has ever happened in the country. We have had demonstrations before. We have had protests before. But now this one has taken a different dimension. Number one, it has been organized by the younger generation of this country, the Gen Zs, people who were born between 1997 to 2012. They have energy, they have the oomph and the stamina to take on you. But if you don't want to listen to them, this may escalate. It's now week three, it may go to week four, five, six, then we go to months. Then we go to years. We don't need to get there. You need to sit down and listen to them. Vladimir Lenin, a Russian revolutionist, said, there are decades when nothing happens and that there are weeks where decades happen. Don't wait for decades to happen in weeks. It may be dangerous for you it may not be easy for you to handle. Now, I'm just wondering, why would the people around President try to want to hoodwink his brain and make him feel like there are young people that are representing these Gen Zs whom they can bring on table to speak about their plight? I watched with disbelief when a group of young people, a people have known in the streets of politics and the corridors of power for years, purporting to be representatives of the Gen Zs, that they were addressing the media saying, we are ready for dialogue. Yet, there are people who are known to be hanging around the politicians that these Gen Zs are not comfortable with. That is not the right direction, Mr. President. Get the real 
Gen Zs, the real young people who are oppressed, who feel like they have not had an opportunity to sit on the high table and share a meal with the kings and queens. Get them on a round table, talk to them. Don't be hoodwinked by rent seekers who just want to milk money out of you to make you feel like you are sitting down with the right people. It may escalate to something bad. We don't have to go the Mao Zedong way. We have to sit down and listen. Police stop shooting at an armed protesters. And protesters, if there is someone among you that you've noticed is armed, please call them out. Because what I saw on news yesterday that police officers were being shot by protesters is something that may bring down what you have started. Maybe there's someone trying to manipulate this demonstration and protest. There's someone trying to fund goons to come and cause mayhem and target the police so that it is said the protesters were firing at police officers. This should not happen. Hasn't it appeared to you that what the president said the other day that protesters were snatching guns from police officers and firing at fellow protesters as something amiss? Mr. President, there are things you say that the people around you may take advantage of and start causing what you can call anarchy. You need to stand up. As a father of the nation, I said it the other day, as a leader of this nation, and talk to these people. Listen to them. Stop listening to yourself. Listen to the right people 